Hello my dear crafters, today is another tutorial for those of you who want to buy the cinch or the mini cinch or if you already have it, we're going to make notebooks with postcards. These are postcards from my favorite bookstore in the whole world and it's here in Portland called Powell's Books, but you can use it with any postcards. It, it's really a great gift. Let's say you travel with someone and you can send her something like this or him, right? It's a great present. It's very simple to make and the good thing about this tutorial is that I'm going to use both the mini cinch for this and the regular cinch for this with loads and loads and loads of tips on how you can change the way you punch, giving more space or not, how to align it per perfectly in the middle. Same with the mini cinch here. How do you do this? How do you get rid of this first punch here of the mini cinch? A lot and a lot of, of tips. How do you know which one to use? The 6.7 no, this one is five eighths of an inch or the one inch. How do you measure that? How do you know how many pages? So all of that you're going to learn. And the good thing is that you learn how to use the mini cinch and the regular cinch and how to, again, get rid of these punches here in the middle. This one has something very special that I've come up with this idea. And what you do is you add a bookmark to it. And I use the back of the bookmarks they usually have it and I'll show you next the the kit that I'm using for this it's a bookmark and you can put it wherever you want but it's going to be attached to your book how cool is that so I'll teach you how to make the bookmark where to attach it and then I'll teach you the second one is this one that opens up like this and I have always have these dividers here so we're gonna have a lot of fun and you're gonna learn a lot. So make sure you have dividers like this, use some more paper. So that's what you're going to learn today. So let's move to the tutorial. First, I'll show you the kit that I'm using. So let me just show you, these are the postcards that I'm going to use from Powell's Books. It's a bookstore here in Portland, my favorite place in the whole city, maybe my favorite uh, bookstore in the world, so like a whole, block for uh, four stories high. So we're going to use two, but any postcard would do. And they're usually uh, standard sizes, six inches by four. And here's a first tip for you. They usually come on the back, they usually come with the pictures of whatever is coming in the pack. Uh, in the pack. These I think I got like three or four of each. Yeah, 12 post postcards of four, so three of each. Do not throw this away because you see what I'm going to do at the end. I'm going to cut these little things and these are going to become little bookmarks that you can actually attach to your notebook, okay? So don't throw that away and I'll show you. That's the first tip that I give you today. So now we are going to start by making one that has the wire on the side here. So on the left side, okay? I already have a lot of these papers cut, but I'm going to show you the whole process on how to do that. And we are going to use the regular size cinch for that. And then stick to the end because the next one will be this one here and we're going to put the wire here and I'm going to show you how to perfectly center that on the mini cinch because we're using the mini cinch for this one okay so yeah so let's start with this one so I have my paper I already cut my paper here four by six and just the first tip I, I, I need to give you is don't cut it this is four by six I usually cut just a hair a little bit thinner because sometimes the, the way when you bind it you don't want it showing here so don't do it exactly four by six I would cut like one sixteenth uh, eight, uh, sixteenth of an inch, a little less, just so you, you, the, the cover is a little bit larger. Okay. So what I did here was I only 
I cut a piece of paper four by six and I glued it on the back of the postcard. It makes it sturdier and I love this paper. I think it's perfect for books. So always do that because it will make this sturdier. The only, the other option for you is to have, if you, if you want, you can just use another one, another postcard and glue it together. That's going to be very thick. So that's up to you, but I usually do that. And I think it looks nicer if you add a paper. And also what I do is to add dividers on my books. So what do they look like? Same paper here. See, I have a divider, two dividers. Let me turn it around. I have this one too. That's very nice from the same paper pad. So I add dividers. This is for the back. We're going to do this together. So when you look sideways, you're going to see the dividers. I think it just adds something to your notebook. That's very nice, a nice paper. And also if the, the person has the option of dividing it in two parts, I think it's good enough, okay? And just so you know, let me see the thickness of this book is going to be ha about half an inch thick, okay, when it's ready. So I already have this cut and we're going to cut one page together because I have a lot of tips on showing you how to do this. I get, instead of, ha of having the whole thing punched from top to bottom, I like to do it this way. I just like the look but that's up to you. But I am going to show you how to do that, okay? And that's this is the reason why using the uh, regular size cinch comes in handy. But again, as I told you, the next one will be done with the mini cinch. So we have the postcard here and let's just prepare the back. It's very, I mean, you just glue it. Sometimes I use uh, this kind of glue here because it's quicker, but I, th I don't think it's as strong as um, liquid glue. Plus, liquid glue gives you a lot of wiggle room. So just make sure that all the corners have a lot of glue. And then I just add a whole bunch of glue randomly like this to make sure that it's going to all be okay. So make sure that it's the size, I mean the side that you want the orientation that you want. So there you are. And then you get your bone folder and make sure to press it down really well. So this is going to be the back of my book. I have, this is going to be the front and that's going to be the back. So yeah, that's, that's good enough. And let me show you, remember I talked about the, uh, the little notebooks that we're going to make. This is what I did with that. Remember the back? Very nice. Use the same paper on the back. You put some ribbon or some, use some twine, very thin twine. And what we're going to do is, and I should have done it right now. Oops, I forgot. That's what I was going to show you. So here's what we're going to do. I have another page. So pretend I didn't glue this. We have another one here. So here's how you do this because I want, let me show you how I want this to look. So once we have the book ready like this, I want this notebook to come from the back and it's going to go wherever you want, but I want it to come from the back. So here's how we do this. We turn this around because it's going to do this, right? So we turn this around. This is uh, the size, the length of, of this is about seven and a half inches, the, the ribbon here, the twine. Let's make one together. So what I did was I cut a little piece of paper just to glue. I want to show you how to make it, okay? Just so you feel confident that you can do it. Let me zoom in because it's so tiny. Well, it is what it is. We make mistakes. I was supposed to glue that first, but that's okay. So here we have double-sided tape. What I do is I just put it here. So more or less right in the middle, right there. And I press it with my fingers just to make it really flat. And then we're going to peel it off. And we're going to add more glue all around this, okay? Because you want this to be 
very well glued especially the edges here I add more where the ribbon is where the twine is there you go and we're going to just move it around and that's the good thing about using liquid glue and if you have a little bit if you find that there is a little bit to cut off to trim just trim it because you don't want that showing that's perfect now a little bit here yeah so we have our little notebook that's perfect so yeah I always add something to my notebooks because I think it makes it's these little details that make a difference so this is gonna be the back right so it's gonna be like this I'm gonna add another layer because I made a mistake but you should have done it with this one here but that's fine it is what it is so here's what to do we're going to glue it you have to make sure let's say this is here and you have to make sure that you have enough ribbon to come all the way down so that's a little too much so I'm, I know now that I need to come down here a little I don't need that much so same thing we're going to use double-sided tape just to hold it in place and what I do is I I want it to be a little you don't want it to be right in the middle a little bit closer to the left because then it's going to stay here close to the to the left side of the book so I use my bone folder to flatten it a little bit so that's good and we're gonna do the same thing that we did to your tiny bookmark you don't need two layers of paper guys I think that I had one right one left over because that was a mistake you should have just done this with the first layer so there you go so we have the back and we're going to just cover it like I did first and we're going to make sure to press this down press really strongly where the ribbon is so we know that that's going to be perfect and here's the thing this works when you have sideways the hole is sideways and that's where you're going to have the, your binding if you have it here then it doesn't work of course because there's no way for you to pull it down but here you are we have our little notebook and then when we finish the book we have this little notebook uh, little um bookmark that can come here and people can actually use it like that so there we are so that's perfect we're gonna just pull it up and let's go let's move to making the hose I should have done this after I, I, I cut the hose but that's okay so now let's let me give you some tips on using the regular sized cinch on how it tells you to do this and how I'm gonna say here's a better way depending on what you want so if you look at your regular size cinch it tells you here depending on the size of your paper mine was six which one of these little things to pull right what do you call those let me see peg the pegs so what it tells me here let me show you is that if it's six inches which is our case here you're gonna pull number 12 but here's the first tip that I have to give you always have a template like this if I do what the cinch is telling me to do I'm gonna have a full this is the full thing very little space here very little space here it's good if that's what you want I like to give it a little bit more of space on the sides here I don't want this first one and I don't want this first one why why is that because it's going most of the times you're gonna have something written here and it's going to cut right through it you don't want that so I want to give it a little bit more of space and I just like the look and here's what, how I like it more space here more space here so how do you do that because it tells you 
to pull number 12. So let's open the cinch. That's what I don't like about doing the tutorials with the cinch because this always gets in the way. So anyway, you're supposed to pull number 12. So I'm going to pull it and I'm going to pull one more because I want more space. So you pull one more, 11, and then you pull number one because you want space on the other side too. So instead of just pulling 12 and having this whole area punched here, you're going to pull one more because you want more space and you're going to pull one on the left. And that's what you're left with if you do that. See? If I put it here, maybe you see. Yeah. See? That's what you're going to be left with. So that's perfect. And that's what I want. That's how I punch the other pages. So I want to make sure. So that's how it is. In my case, remember, this is what I did. I wanted three and three. So again, using the same idea, what do you do? I want this space here. I want to keep this space. Let me move this away. And let me zoom in a little bit. So if you want three, I'm going to put this here so that you see. If you want three and three, do you see where it is? So this would be the first one. So you just count one, two, three. I want that. But then you want a break here. So you're going to pull one, two, three. So that's what you're left with. You're going to have three punching, more space here three punching, a space in the middle, plus three more punches. And that's what you're going to get. See, and if I put it close here, always have a template because then you know what to do. And that's what I'm going to do now, okay? Sorry that the thing is on your way, but that's what we're going to do. I am going to just slide the paper, punch, and look at that three and three. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to do the same with the cover here. And then I'm going to get the one that we have with this. And then I'm going to, that's the back. So I'm going to do the same thing. Three and three. And we're done punching, okay? We're done punching because I don't want to punch all the pages. You don't need to see that. It takes too much time. I already have, basically, my book is ready. Let me just zoom out a little bit. I have my book ready here. And look, it's perfect. Now we're going to do the wiring. So what do you do? You're going to cut three and three, of course, because that's what we have. So you count one, two, three. And you're going to cut right here. My, my uh, thing is not perfect. And I actually cut a little more because I don't want this showing. Again, one, two, three. There you go. So we have two, three pieces here. Very easy to do. We're going to get our cinch back. And we're going to put it right here, okay? I wish I could just do it like this. So anyway, you're going to put this back here. And I would get one of these pieces of paper just so you know where it's supposed to go, okay? So we're going to get this. So you know that this is where it goes. So the other one should go here because you're going you're gonna to have to get it right. So there you go. So just use to place it and we are going to put all the rest of the pages like this. Make sure that it's the right direction there. And this is the cover. So the cover always goes first and then you're going to get the back and you're going to sandwich because the back is going to turn around like that, okay? So we sandwich it together and we are done here. So now we're going to, this big cinch is so complicated for video because it's too big. But anyway, so we are going to just basically 
remember the tip that I always give you. We have a wall here and always make sure that both of them hit the wall. If you do something like this, and like the, the first one, the top one is not on the wall, it's not gonna be round. You always have to hit the wall with both, okay? So I'm gonna tell my cinch, I think you have to do this, which one I'm using. So I'm using five eighths, five eighths of an inch, which is the half, like five eighths of an inch. So there you go. So I am going to just place it, making sure that all the wall is there and just press it down. And there you are, it's perfect. Just moving this around. So this is what we have here. We're gonna turn the back and look, we have our beautiful book with the divisions here. Remember that I use some divisions. Always add something inside because it makes a difference on your notebooks. And we have our beautiful note, uh, notebook here. I mean, bookmark. Why do I keep calling it notebook? So you have that and you have a bookmark with the same. I'm gonna make the next one a little shorter because I think this is a little too too long, but that's fine, that was the first. So there you are, you added something really nice and so easy, wasn't it? Very, very easy. Another tip that I want to give you, how do you know which one to use? I'm always in doubt too, but now I came to a system and that's my other tip for you. This is a one inch, this is a five eighths of an inch, right? So how do you know which one you're gonna use? Here's what I do, always have just one all closed up so you have the size. And what I do is I just put this on the side like this, the same way that it would look. And you can see here, let me do the other side. You can see that you're gonna have way too much space on the top and at the bottom. So, so it's not, it's too big. So that's what I do, I always have one closed and if you put this one, you say, yeah, that's perfect, perfect size. So that's another tip for you on how to know how thick it is and which one to use. So we have our beautiful book, Powell's, and we have our, our beautiful bookmark here. Now let's move to the next one and we're going to do the punching here on the top. So it's gonna flip like that. And I'm going to show you, my big tip is how to perfectly center this on the mini cinch because again we're not going to do what the mini cinch says because I like again to leave a little bit more of space here on the right but that's of course first personal preference okay so let's go to the next one so now we are using the mini cinch and we're going to have I already cut these holes here we're gonna it's gonna flip to uh, flip up, okay? So it's gonna open like this instead of like that, like the first one. So how do you do that? Again, a template. Let me show you the difference of what we're gonna do. If you follow the instructions on the mini cinch, you're going to have a full, look at this. You're gonna have like a tiny space here for number, if you have four inches, right? Which is what we have, because you would have to Use this on the A, you would punch once, and then you would put it, put it, pull it out. And then remember, you would have to put this here on the second one and punch one more. And then you would have the full length of your four inches. I don't want that. It's fine if you do, that's again, personal preference. So in my case, I want the six uh, punches here, six holes, but I want to have space on the right and on the left, okay? That's my personal preference. So how do you do that? Let me show you, it's very easy. So I'm gonna use one of the uh, one of the papers here. And let me show you, you can see here, you have this ruler here, which helps. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to place it right here, because that's four inches here and four inches here on the left. That's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna pl place your paper perfectly aligned and perfectly centered. You're going to have four 
Let me just move out. So four here and four here. So you don't have to put that thing here, the green thing. You don't have to do that. So just make sure to align it showing four and four. And when you punch, you have it perfectly aligned with a little bit of space like that, okay? So that's what you need to do. I'm gonna do it again. Four inches on the right and four inches on the left. So again, perfect. And we are going to do the cover here. Four and four. I'm gonna punch that. Perfect, look at that. So the last thing we're going to do, and then we're going to, of course, bind it for you to see. So that's the cover that's ready. So now we're going to make the cover. Should have uh, glued it before so you didn't have to see it, but that's fine. It's fine, it's not gonna take that long. We're crafters, we're patient. Honestly, I don't think we can be crafters if you don't have patience, especially paper things. So there you go, make sure that it's the right position. Yes, it is, like this. <laughs> so we're going to move it around like that to make sure that it's aligned. And as I told you guys, you cannot use the bookmark on this one because it's it's going to get entangled. It's only possible to do the bookmark thing when you open it like that. But like this you couldn't because it, it would be here on the way. So, so there you are. I'm going to punch one more because on this one I want to add the first page I want to be this one here. So I'm going to add one more right in front here, right after the cover. I think it just is very nice, unexpected and nice. So we are going to, I forgot to punch the back. The back, you, I, turn, I turn it around. No, that's right. So make sure it's right centered here, four and four. Done. So that's the back. And we have very thick. Again, let's look at the, oops, five-eighths of an inch. Would that work? That's how you do it. Yep, it will. It will work perfectly. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get, we need six holes here. So I don't have enough here. So I'm going to go get it and I'll be back. So here it is. We are going to cut one, two, three, four, five, six. So I go here, cut it. And again, we're going, I think this one is easier to show because it's not as big, but it's the same tip that I gave you before, okay? So we're gonna put this here, and then I'll show you how to perfectly position Again, we're going to get the back and the front. They always sandwich. Let's put some first here. Then the rest. Let me move it up so you see. Always first, the this is the cover, and then you sandwich with the back because the back always turns that way. So, here it's easier to show you, but it's the same thing you should do with the regular size, okay? Make sure that both the top and bottom is, both are touching the wall. I'm gonna do this, because you really need to. I know that they're both touching the wall. And then you press it down, and it's perfect. Look at that. So you get the back, turn it around, and we have, Another one, but very different from the first. Where's the first? Now I'm looking for the first and I can't find it. Oh, okay. There you are. So one opens this way, and because of that, you can add your little bookmark, and this one will open that way. So, but the same thing, both of them had the dividers, 
they look wonderful i love them it's so quick to make it's really not complicated at all i hope you enjoyed my tutorial and if you did please like the video it really really helps us creators and i would love to hear from you which one do you prefer do you like it like this or do you like it like the whole thing being punched you can do either one but i for some reason i like it like this or just this whole area here not all the way to the top same thing here i like to give it breathing room because then you don't lose this okay you give it room to be there and to be seen if you had another one here see it would be on the p but anyway that's what i like so when you use it will depend of course on where the names are of your of your uh, postcard so it's a great great idea so there you are thank you so much guys let me know which one you prefer do you open like that or to the left it's very personal. <laughs> I know. I like both, honestly. <laughs> I don't have a preference. So thanks for spending your time with me, and I hope to see you in my next video.